Hello students from Cal State and clients from Mountain Shadows. Remember, you see me, it says, love, I love my mask. You need to love your mask and you need to wash your hands. We're still under COVID, but, and we're being together virtually and we're looking forward to the day when we can all begin to be back together again. Today, I'm going to be teaching you a little bit about how to do portraits. So if you could remember, I'm going to take it off now because you know we have to be wearing them, but when we're alone, it's okay. Try to avoid crowds, wash your hands, remember that. So a little refresher. I think you've all seen this person um, in some of the lessons that we've done before. They sell them at the art store and you can use this little guy or lady actually to put them in the positions that you want to paint you can make them running you can make them uh make it all kinds of hand motions whatever and it's basically talks about the lessons that i had taught before with where the joints are and where the hand you know sort of where the the wrist and the, and the hips and the all the joints right down to where your legs and your feet and your ankles go so Try to remember that. I think I showed you how to do ovals. And then um, when we get the paints at Mountain Shadows, you may want to look at these color charts because when we start looking at skin colors and the, the palette that you want to use for whatever someone might be wearing, today we're going to focus mostly on faces. And I know that uh, Mountain Shadows people are also very talented and they want to do portraits and uh, either even sell portraits by looking in the mirror and then make them as gifts or whatever or we can sell them during our annual show anyway um, I'm going to leave that there with Mr. or Ms. whoever we have here and then I just I was painting a little bit and I'll show you how what I did in a little bit more but this is the basic colors I recycle everything I think Mountain Shadows knows that we have the blue palettes that come from our um, dialysis patients so what I did is I just squirted a little bit into this these are former packages from the grocery store that I save them all because I can mix colors in fact I've been doing a little mixing <laughs> before in preparation and what I did is I thought about the colors of faces and what color people are and no matter what anybody says uh, when you say you don't see color, that's not true because everybody has color in them. We're all different shades. You know, nobody's pure white and nobody's jet black. We're everything in between. But before we get to those colors, um, I'm going to take you over here and show you. Um, remember, this is a, 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 a refresher again about the shape of faces. We have, most people have either an oval face or kind of a square face. And then we have people that have a round face. And what I did in here is I put some samples of skin tones, and this came again off of this palette. So by mixing the colors, it goes from like a pinkish, nudish color to a little bit of tan, and then a lot darker tan. Same thing up here, maybe some people a little bit more orange. We know somebody that was kind of orange recently. And then here, and then, I tried to show some shades of what people think are black. Have you ever seen anybody that's gray or jet black? No. They so, they fall somewhere into the dark brown. There's the real black people that mostly from places like Senegal are gorgeous, but there's a way to do the skin tone. So when we get to that, I'll probably show you a little bit more. And then we went, um, I went to the eyes to show you there's different shapes of eyes and different positions of them, different colors. Um, some people have blue eyes. I showed here how you do eyebrows with a, a, a thinner brush and just go like this, whatever shape. Normally, the arch of the eyebrow is somewhere a little bit to the this side of the eyeball and then the eyeball goes here it always has the iris in here and i'll show you a little bit more about that so this is kind of a, a feminine eye and there's a masculine eye um, i did a side view here and then somebody with smaller eyes and then thicker eyebrows and then another side view 
And then I, I here back to the woman, I did some with a, a little sketch here with a, a woman who's crying where the eyebrows are furrowed up here. And then the eyes should be probably halfway closed. Or you can make them open and make them real watery. And I made the little drops to show you what those are. This is a closed eye and um, maybe a sleepy one. I don't know. And this one, you know, people have almond shaped eyes. We have Asian people who have beautiful almond shaped eyes. So I try to create that there. Then we look at noses and um, you know, when you do a nose, there's all, everybody has different shaped nose. And so I tried to show how on a front view, you would make something like this with a nose. You don't make great big nostril um, circles under there because none of us want to look like Porky Pig. <laughs> so um, then I tried to show how um, a woman's nose is generally a little bit softer man's nose is a little bit harder um and they it comes like this you more of a straight line not everybody you know so everybody has some people have turned up noses or a nose like this like uh, halloween <laughs> our witches so here's what i would say would be more like a typical male nose um but you have to look at everybody's face and then figure out what kind of shape the nose is. And when we go to look at how it all comes together, you'll see what I'm talking about. Then I, I went to mouths and um, I'm a big believer in red lipstick. So you'll see most of my paintings will have women with lips and red lips for that. So I just tried to kind of show where the mouth line is and the upper lip and the lower lip. And then when you're doing a painting, a portrait, you're gonna be doing some lines on the lips because everybody has texture in their lips. So uh, we can do more detail when we get that. Then I tried to, saw, to show you an open mouth. Now mouths, um, when you do teeth, you know, they kind of fade into the, the, the corners of the mouth. So if you were actually doing a mouth, you would be doing oh this is a little bit of gray here but you don't make you don't draw actually draw the teeth you otherwise they'd be big ones anyway but there's always a little shadow i think this one over here shows what i'm talking about and then you do faint lines for teeth if you want to there's a side view of this same mouth by the way and there's another one where the this one's an open mouth where you're someone's talking and or they're looking at something and surprise and um, you'd also do a little shadows in here. Um, and the lips are more round because, you know, they're going, oh my God, or whatever they're screaming. And then there's people who have big lips, um, big pretty lips, you know. Remember, when you have nice big lips, they kiss nice. So anyway, I did these so you could get an idea of people who have bigger lips than others, okay? So again, we have the oval the square, the round faces, and then we have the eyes that come in different colors, blue and green and brown, and sometimes they're hazel and they change, whatever. And then eyes, and the secret of a really good portrait painting is the eyes, because if you can capture a person's eyes, then you're gonna get part of their personality, and you're gonna be able to look into their soul and capture the rest of their, the shape of their face, whatever, and you're gonna feel them and know that you've gotten something very personal about that person. If um, if you want to go over, there's a, a portrait I did of Aki, you know, your favorite drummer, and uh, I think I did a pretty good job, and. If you go closer to his face, you can see his big, beautiful smile there. He's kind of grinning in his eyes, looking straight at you. And you look at the shape of his nose, his hat, and uh, his African shirt. And later on, if you pan down, you can see. I even got his hands on those beautiful drums of his. So, And you can see he's, he's uh, African-American. And when these people say a black man, that doesn't mean you paint them black. You can see he's a... Uh, varying shades of chocolate. <laughs> so that's uh, a sample of a key. Now I'll take you to another section here where we'll be looking at hair. And what I did is I, I tried to show some of the shapes of the faces that shows the hair, you know, the, 
you can make hair that goes up like this. Some of the guys wear it like that. Some ladies do too, actually. I kind of like that hairdo where you can just put some kind of potion in it and makes it stand up and stay up and looking pretty cool. But everything starts at a hairline. So when you look at hair, you're going to look at their forehead. And you'll see here where I made it come down like this for her. And she has short hair. This lady I made with long hair. And all you have to do, and nobody has flat, flat yellow hair or blonde hair. So I made some highlights in here. Sometimes you could put like orangish red. This would be called like a strawberry blonde. Unless it's a person that we call, I think the nickname was Toeheads, where they have like really white hair. And over here I tried to do um, some gray. I would probably put a little bit more white in this guy's lips. Yep, let me do this better. I'm trying to do it. A little bit more white in here to show strands of gray. But I'd use a smaller brush than I just used. And up here I did a lady with her hair in a bun. But you could also do the same thing if you were going to add a ponytail. So that's supposed to be a ponytail. <laughs> so then down here, we're going to go to the shape. So the, I would say the view of the face. This is a front view. This is a three-quarter view, like when someone's turning and you can still see both eyes. The side view is when you can only see one eye. Sometimes you can see a little bit of the eyelash on that side view. I'll use this pointer here. Again, I have a man and I tried to do, she, I made the man's face a little bit harder because men, men have a, a stronger chin. So I tried to emphasize it here on this little part here. And then the side view, and if they don't have any hair, Sometimes they're the, the shape of their head. And just for fun, I'm going to try to make this. I'm going to show you the different si uh, shapes of heads. Like this. Or you could even make it flatter like it is in here. But again, you know, you have to look at the shape of the head. Not everybody has a round head. Some people have what I call like a bookend. I'm one of those. I don't have a nice round uh, contour to my skull. So then the next step is um, I'll take you up here to show you how to do some of the details. And I already had started some, so um, I wanted to be, since it's, it's um, Black History Month, I love this hairdo on some of my lady friends. I decided I was going to paint her for you so you could see. I just took kind of a wide brush, put some black paint on it. And later on, I might even add blue or brown or whatever like that. So you can see where I had started the hairline like this for her forehead. And here, because it's kind of a three-quarter view, it would come around like that. You could, you could even texture it by doing this to do the dreadlocks if you wanted to. See? With a, you just add a little, you make your brush a little bit drier. Here we go. I would love to have this hairdo. I don't know if it would look good on me, but it looks, sure looks good on my friend. And so then I have in here, I did a little bit. I told you I love red lipstick and there it is. And then to, because she's African-American, her nose, um, you know, the African-American people generally have a, a very distinctive shape of their nose. And so this is where I emphasize it right here. And then you don't make, like I say, great big holes in there for the nostrils. You just put a little bit like that. And also on her portrait, what I, I did is I added her the texture. And this is where some of you who have already started your portraits, I just mixed a little bit of red and pink and white together, or red and white to make pink. And I tried to do a little bit of this highlighting of her her cheeks and giving her some color because everybody likes to know that they have pretty cheekbones when they and try, even if you know it, you can make them look like you do. So, and I think you could add a lot of red or you can make it like that. And then you just blend it. And blending is real easy. You just take your brush and you go round like this. And then when you do the roundness, it takes away all those heavy lines. See, I put her here. I gave her brown eyes. I gave her 
eyelids here and some eyelashes. And then down here where her chin is, her chin line, I added a little bit more color. I'm, I'm going to darken it a little bit because everybody, when you're looking at someone's face, they you have dark spots where you're, you have a shadow under your neck. So I put it here like so. And you can think of it, look at like a V. And then over here, if you do this and then you blend it, it gives it, makes it look like a round, you can see the roundness in the neck. What do you think, Gaki? Beautiful. Okay, and then the ear, the ear also, you know, I don't like to draw big ears on people. And I put earrings on her, as you can see, I kind of missed the boat there. So let me pull her. Actually, I made that too short. The uh, one rule about no um, ears is it's lying with the nose and the eye. That's the, sh the shape or the length of most people's ears. If they come out and stick out, that's different. Or they may be closer to the thing, to their face, their cheek, whatever. So I'm going to put her cheek line there. But as you can see, I put earrings on her. So let me get those earrings hooked into her ear. There you go. And then I'm going to make, make sure I don't exclude the other side of her face. I add a little scarf so you can see if you want to do texture. And here you can make it a little darker and then here where it comes around into a, a wave or a knot. Let me try to see if I can put a knot in there where it was going to be. I'll add a little gray where the knot goes, like so. And then I should be cleaning my brush to do this. Also right here where the knot comes together, you can make it a little softer, see, by pulling it up. And then by making it rounder right there. So that's just a little bit of a, a quickie on how to do that. Now, for the gentleman below, um, you know who I was thinking of is our friend Aki and his famous hats. So what I'm going to do is I, I made his, his, his uh, chin square. And men don't normally have the big lips like we do on the, the top. So I made a um, I made a line to show you where the man's lip top lip you you really don't emphasize it so much here let me get a little more color on there there you go I'm gonna make him smile and to make somebody smile you just have to do something like this see and then. I purposely made it a little bit gray there to show you how maybe a man might have a, a five o'clock shadow <laughs> if they haven't shaved that morning or whatever. I'm gonna try to blend it a little more. So yeah, I think I got a little bit more shape there. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then eyes, they don't they don't wear eye makeup, so you just kind of. They have eyelids just like the rest of us, and they have eyelashes. Some men have beautiful long eyelashes, so you may want to add those. But for detail, I think, again, I'm going to go in here and um, paint. Oops. Uh oh, it went Don't right on my it. shoe. Oops. I'll get it off. I'll wash it off. Um, I'm going to try to add a little bit more color to his neck again. This guy, whoops, it's really red. There was red paint on there. To make it darker and over here the same thing yeah i'll just have to lighten it up a little then i'm going to darken it again should have cleaned the brush better and i'm going to try to blend it and i kind of messed it up so let me give him his chin back okay there you go and i'll make it darker here Right under, and normally men, for some reason, I like looking at the bottom lip on men. So I put a little shadow under there, give it a little emphasis. Same thing with the neck, like we did on the, the lady. You may want to do that. I'm giving that square chin. Again, you see how I lined up the, the ear, the bottom of the ear, and then I made his ear a little bit higher coming up with his eye. So it's kind of a rule of thumb like that. And then, I should have gotten a white brush out. I'm going to give him a hat. Oops. 
And, you know, if he's, if he's, um, if you paint in the direction of where, the way the hat goes, it makes it a lot easier. He's going to have on a straw hat. And it's going to be sitting on top of his head. You know, some hats are worn different ways. You know, I think Aki likes to wear his more on the back of his head. And he wears a kind of a musician style hat. Anyway, this cool jazzy guy, whatever. Reggae, jazzy, whatever. So, again, I'm going to do this. He makes a good model. So I refer to him a lot. And then I'm going to start shading it when I show you when I show you how to do this. All right, so closer to the 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 hairline, we're going to add a little bit of light brown, like this. And it's going to come around where where the hat comes around to him, and it's going to fade as you go out. You're going to blend it so it'll be that way, and then. Again, on his hairline, where the hat, he's going to have a shadow. So we're going to do a little bit of shading in here. And I'm just going to pull this color over a little and blend it. And go to the side, too, since he's... And we'll do it down here a little bit, too. So this is a three-quarter view. Well, you see how the face changes when I add these tones, as I'll call them, tones. And over here, the, ha the hat's going to be darker as well, where it's going to come around from the, the back of his head. And up here, same thing. We want to use a little bit of, leave a little bit of light. And then, just so we know, this is where the, the brim of the hat goes. And on some of the portraits, you may want to put the, the hat band up there, too. So I gave him brown eyes. But see, again, right here, I put where his mouth, you, when you're looking at someone's smile, it, it gets darker in the corners, and that uh, helps you not to have to paint big white teeth lines on it, because that's what makes it look funny. You could even kind of shade it gray down there which I won't do right now because I can't see it very well. So again, we'll look at it hair. We can use the different brush strokes to bring the hairline up, paint in, the, uh, paint in the direction of the way the hair is growing. If somebody wears their hair sticking out, you can do it like that. Let me do a little bit more. Like maybe I'll make her hair longer. I'm holding the palette. So her hair is just going to come down and under. So you see. There we go. And then the bun or the ponytail, long hair, and then the side view. And then again, I probably should have showed you a little better with the, the gray hair. I'm going to go back in and take out some of that white and make him salt and pepper. And then, the, you know, I put sideburns on him over here. And I made curly, wavy hair, so you can do the same if you want. Make it in here. This probably should not have been as wide, but, you know, I don't know. Some guys have ponytails or they have long hair, so actually, let's make, let's give them long hair and see what it looks like. Take a minute. You know, some, yeah, we'll make them a rock star. You see? <laughs> and then we go about down here. We're going to look at the, the view of the face because it's going to make a difference on when you start doing your shadowing, like see the three-quarter face, the, the side view. The, the one on the front, um, it would be a little bit different because you, you won't have such angles to work with. So your blending is going to be real important on that. And again, we can also paint someone that's bald. Um, let me fill that in now. There we go. I'm just going to do it like so. So at least it has some color. I'm not going to do all the details on it. But you see how easy that was is to make his head bald. 
And then when we went, if we were going to really do a bigger portrait of that, we could also shade it, make his forehead darker, make his cheekbones darker, make his chin darker. You see that? Makes a difference already, and you'll be blending that. So again, here we go with details. You could put jewelry on the women. You could put shirts and ties. Let me add a little shirt on this guy. I'll use a skinny brush and try to paint a, a shirt collar on it for you. Okay. I will make a t-shirt, make it easier. And remember shirts come around from the back of the neck. They don't stop there. So they, they come around. I'm gonna make it with a little texture there. And then men have bigger shoulders. So I'm going to extend his shoulders out here. Not here. Put it up a little more. Now you can see, maybe this is where the shirt sleeve starts to come in on if you're going to do a portrait. A little detail that people wonder what's going on here. There we go. So, I hope one more little detail that I think you'll you'll want to know about is when you finish the portrait, you know, everybody says, look at the sparkle in that person's eye. And that's what I did up here. I gave her this little white where the, 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 the reflection of her eye is. Normally, if her pupil was here like this, oops, it's too, I put too much white. There you go. You see, you can do that. I'm going to do this on here too, on this guy. He's going to have a little bit of a dot there. It depends on where the light is. So when you're doing the portrait, take a second look at where you think that uh, light is coming from. And then to finish, let me show you um, a couple of portraits that I just complete. I completed. Um, this was done with pastel, oil pastels of Kamala Harris. And um, you can see where the texture, if it comes in, if you go in close. I did it on a black canvas and by using the oil pastels, I had to really rub on them a little bit more. And then I had a shirt, I faded it. You see where I did her cheekbones and her eyes. And I also gave the reflection she has a, a nice nose. I put it there. She smiles a lot. She doesn't wear a lot of bright red lipstick, so I tried to paint her on natural. And she had pretty brown wavy hair. And she wears a suit. All, <laughs> she's a businesswoman and likes to wear suits. So I did that. And, you know, you heard about her pearls. So I put her pearl earrings on her. And this was done in about an hour. A real quickie of Kamala. And then I think some of you have already seen this one. Of um, this is of uh, Aki's sister, Arista, and she is a nurse. And Sarah. we painted her. Uh, oh, John Zeta. I her arrest is his, Arista is her daughter. John Zeta. We love her because you know what? She's a real hero. She loves her work. She's a nurse. Um, she's been working really hard all through the COVID and putting herself at risk. But you know what? She's dedicated. These, she's a really great example of our essential workers. So I feel really happy that I was able to do a COVID portrait of someone that we love. So that's her. I'll show you another one that I did with two people in it. Um, this one is of a Palestinian mother talking, or her daughter's talking to her. Her daughter's in white getting married. Um, I actually saw a photograph of this and from memory I tried to, I don't even remember where I saw it, but the mother was kind of trying to warn her that if you get married, you may be a widow. And because she's in black and her, the contrast was so beautiful. So I made sure I had her finger showing her wedding ring. And then I, I did this, this beautiful uh, Palestinian woman wearing her white um, wedding gear. Or, dress in hijab her head her hair covered in the whole bit so i mean and you saw the one of aki and then um 
I'm hoping that maybe we'll have time together. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me on my email, jtaphillis at aol.com, or any of you students who want to call me or clients, um, talk to Floor and she'll get your questions to me. Um, my, uh, you can get my phone number and I gave permission to Dr. Nolan uh, to, if you have questions on, on a little bit more about doing your painting, your portrait that we did the sketches on. And by the way, you know, you don't have to make it realistic. You can paint portraits in, in abstract. Just make sure you tell me that this is abstract <laughs> and maybe describe who the person is and what, um, what inspired you to paint that style. And you can paint anything you want in the background. I think it's going to be a lot of fun to see these when they're all completed. Um, again, I'm really happy that, um, I'm hoping that you'll, for Black History Month, uh, I did a, some sketches. Uh, of different people, including Kobe Bryant. I didn't do his face, I did his action. So maybe you could concentrate on painting his muscles or his uniform or whatever and make it a kind of a cool looking poster. So I think that's our lesson for, I think this is my third lesson. Uh, we've had a couple together and I'll do more on the body on our next lesson. Next week you'll be hearing from and seeing Aki doing his drum lesson, which is really great. So make sure you tune in next Tuesday uh, to look at his uh, in his uh, video on what he did for drumming for that week. So I thank you very much. And I thank you, Floor and Martha and the, all the house people that are taking care of our clients and the residences who have been stuck in those houses and not being able to get together because as you all know, my motto is the best place to be is together. And even though we have to do it virtually this time, we're all thinking about you and hoping you all stay safe and looking forward to the day when we can all be together again in person. Thank you. Have a great week.